If you're worried about asbestos, you should be. Attention. If you or a loved one was diagnosed with mesothelioma, you may be entitled to financial compensation. <laughs> Just kidding. No, asbestos is harmful and it is really important that you test the materials around your home before you start messing with them. This video is going to be all about testing for asbestos and I'm gonna test both the popcorn ceiling in this house and the laminate floors. I just bought this house from the 1970s to rent out on Airbnb. Full video series will be coming out on that as I tackle this big project. And since it's from the 70s, I'll need to test it. The process is simple. I did it just last year using the same exact kit that I'm gonna show you here in this video. Let's run through it quickly together. Asbestos is a mineral made up of these tiny microscopic fibers that can get lodged in your lungs if you breathe it in for long periods of time. Once these little fibers do attach to your lungs, they never go away, and they can cause different types of cancers and diseases like mesothelioma and other things like that, and you won't have symptoms until several years in the future. Asbestos was used in construction materials and many other materials prior to 1979 when they were banned, so if you have any projects around that time and before, it is safe or best bet to test it. I have a list right here. So things like popcorn ceilings, air ducts, some pipe coverings, insulation, and linoleum floors are some of the more common materials that you'll deal with in a remodel like this. So again today, we'll test my popcorn ceiling and the linoleum, linoleum floors down here. The kit that I'm gonna use here is by Schneider Labs and you can get it off of Amazon fairly inexpensively. So what's included are the actual lab fees, so where they go and actually test it. Then you get your sample bag here with the Ziploc bag and some gloves. I have three here so I can test three different samples and you'll have to request that ahead of time or bring your own little Ziploc block bag that you can send along with it. I requested these specifically. And then you actually even get your own return label here. So everything is included that you'll need to get this project done for the most part. You do need a scraper and a water bottle. Now I'm using a five business day pack, which means once I send this off, it'll come back with the results in five business days. They do offer one business day. If you wanna pay a little bit more, sometimes it's worth it. In my case, I'm fine with five days. I'm actually not gonna begin with the ceiling for two more weeks. One other thing to note is that I did forget to bring my mask today, so do as I say and not as I do. Wear a mask. Sorry it's so dark in this house, I don't have my recess lights installed yet, but I'm gonna use a little bottle for some water, spray the ceiling, let it soak for about just a few minutes, and then come back, spray it one more time as we scrape off a two inch by two inch section. You'll see. What spraying does is it makes it easier to actually scrape off, plus it makes it where the asbestos fibers don't go floating around the house kind of just makes them fall, you know. I already found a pretty messed up spot on the floor of this house, but if you don't have something like this, you'll want to cut a two inch by two inch section of your floor that includes the entire underside of that flooring, the mastic, the gluey part, right? So here I need to find two inches worth of this plus the glue that's underneath. As best this isn't on the top of your floors, it's underneath. Here's a good ex example of what will not work. So I have a lot of laminate floor here, and then only the mastic or glue is on part of it. I need a lot more of this bottom part. It's a pretty good amount here. I'll submit this with a little bit more of the mastic alone. Now, as their instructions even state, it's great to test the asbestos in multiple different rooms because they might have used some material in one room 
went to the store and picked up a different type of material for another bedroom or something like that. So in my case, my only concern is really the living room. So I'm just gonna send this one sample along with the floors in. And I'm gonna send this off and it takes five business days for them to get back to me and we'll see if we have asbestos or not. I also have some of the floor here too. Uh, we'll see what that comes back with. Start by going to slabinc.com and it'll take you to their main page. Click the login button where you can either sign up or log in if you've already done this before. In my case, I've already done it. So I'm just gonna register a brand new kit, which is a one pack, five business day kit. And then I'm gonna continue there. Then just fill out all of your personal information here. I'm not gonna show it on my screen. <laughs> and then with the project location, you know, put your kitchen, bathroom, wherever you do it. This is my second project. It's in North Carolina and I bought it off of Amazon. And then in the special instructions, do sample one, popcorn ceiling, sample two, flooring, if you have multiple samples. If not, leave this blank. Then fill out the rest of the information. And then the next page will be a confirmation where you register your kit and it'll provide a PIN number for you. And with that PIN number, you actually write that down on the instructions that are provided in your kit. Fill out all of the other information on these instructions as well before you seal this in the package. Again, be sure to label your baggies if you have multiple samples. So here's sample one for the popcorn ceiling and then sample two for my flooring. Again, this is noted in my special instructions. Then load up everything into the provided box, including the instructions that are filled out and then go ahead and close the box up Seal it with the provided sticker. The instructions are clearly written on that part. And then you want to put the provided shipping label on the back of the box. So we got our results back and unfortunately we do have asbestos in the ceiling and down in the flooring. It's not in the mastic it's not in the glue or the adhesive of the floor but it is in the actual floor itself which is kind of good because i could still pry this up potentially i'm not giving any recommendations at all in this video but without tearing the laminate or vinyl whatever this is i can peel it off and the glue is safe it's the floor that i can't rip up but the whole point of getting this test is now i can take precautions when i'm working in the ceiling or around taking off some of the walls whatever I can do it the right way, be safe, hire out somebody to scrape this if needed, or I can cover this up with some tongue and groove ceiling or more sheetrock, whatever. That's not necessarily what this video is about, but we did test positive for it, and now you know how to go and test your ceilings and other materials so you can be safe and make the right decisions for you. I hope this video helped you out a lot. Comment down below if you have any other questions. Please remember to subscribe, hit that like button. Again, this is a full blown Airbnb investment property journey that we're doing here. So head on over to my channel and check out that series. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next one.